Well, JD, you're back again for another year. This year is our 80th year of hosting an AQHA show at National Western. What was it like to be back in the Denver Coliseum? Uh, you know, it's always uh, it's an incredible feat to be able to put something on for 80 years. And uh, with all of the people that behind the scenes that do all the work, it's uh, it's an amazing event, and that's why people want to come. And the, the National Western Stock Show is very famous, and it's an honor to come here and be able to compete. It's uh, something that people dream about is to be in this arena right for what makes the tour show and this so so unique is this is a unique facility that it's not you don't get to go to one of these every day so when they have an event like this <coughs> whether it's quarter horse show whether it's the paint horse show draft horse show everybody wants to be involved at the cattle show um, all of it, the whole whole deal is it's an honor to come here and be able to compete and, you know, I guess the greatest honor is to walk away as a National Western Champion. You know, they uh, it's 80 years, but in, in reality, there's only 80 champions in those events. And when people look at it like that, uh, the meaning is a whole bunch different than... I mean, to think that this has been going on for 80 years and there's not 2,000 champions. You're the champion that year in that event. And to say that means a lot. And there's a lot to it. Uh, behind the scenes, you know, not only is it a historic place to be at, the, the value of winning here is huge. And so, you know, as a competitor, and as somebody that's getting older now that wants to help support, I, uh, I see a real, you know, as a competitor, we learn to compete and maybe not see the behind the scenes. As you get older, you learn and you see who does the work to make this happen for you. And so when you could still go and do and be successful and give something back to it, it's pretty gratifying to say that you have just a small piece of the National Western and uh, you know, you get to go there and compete, it's pretty good. Speaking of, of making dreams happen, you helped with some this morning. We had, I believe he's 10, had a had a roper this morning that you helped out and, and he ended up going all the way to the finals. Yeah, you know, he's a, he's a fine young man. Uh, I just actually met him here. He contacted my son through email and my son I don't know how to do any of that. That's a new way deal, but uh, he contacted him back and he said, I'm going to send you my dad's phone number. He's going to be at the show because I'm not, and you call him, and, and I'm sure he'll help you. I'll tell him what's going on. And so he was, a, he was a nice little young man. He came up, shook my hand, and asked me to help him when I first got here and told, told me who he was. And, you know, for, for it to go down the way it went down, he earned it. You know, and uh, he could win the National Western Stock Show, you know, with the ability that I see that young man have. He's got a chance to come here and, and compete and be very successful. But uh, that first win, staying here it, at the National Western, it's going to be, uh, it'll live with him the rest of his life. He's going to remember and that for a long time. Yeah, you know, he'll, he'll be a young man, grow up, and get married, and have kids. And he'll be able to bring his family to the same function and say, yeah, when I was 10 years old, I won this. And there ain't a lot of people who ever say that. That's true. Speaking of the youth and amateur side, you get to help a lot of youth and amateurs and, and see them get to come here and, and rope and do their best and, and run in these finals. We had a lot of youth and amateurs in the finals today. What's it like being, being able to help, help those guys that don't do this every day? Well, you know, we're up. We're, we're pretty lucky that we get that we have a good set of amateurs and have people that want to go show. Um, you know, basically they they have a, a horse instead of a boat, and you know they're western orientated people and they've seen the National Western Stock Show. They've seen major events, and for them to get to come and compete in this, you know, there's a little bit uh, different kind of a pressure, you know, when you rope for them because, you know, sure, I've trained their horse, sure, I did all that, but at the end of the day, they catch, I still got to catch, and uh, that's kind of an advantage I have now most of the time because 
most of the time uh, my son's here and I can prepare him and send him out there and he has no fear but you know like it would have broke my heart to miss with that little boy you know what I'm saying and so at the end of the day you never want to miss but it's gonna happen and sometimes you know they they gotta learn how to learn lose just as gracious as they learn how to win and people that don't understand losing don't know what winning is about winning is a privilege and losing is what happens in competition regardless of what sport you're in how you compete in it, it it's part of life and if you learn how to lose graciously and get better and come back stronger You'll be a you'll be a great one. That's neat. You've had a lot of generations of your family compete here. Your dad's roped here. You've obviously shown here. Trey's been here. Kelly's here. What's what's it like to, to be able to compete here with your family? Well, you know, it's uh, the Western way of life is a family event, and we just happen to all grow in, into it uh, with my dad and my mom. They started in it, you know, and then uh, my sister. She was. Uh, she was a great athlete in high school. She had a chance to go on and do gymnastics and had scholarships all over the country. And she was good at that, and I couldn't do nothing. I mean, I couldn't walk and chew gum at the same time. All I cared about was riding a horse and, and roping, you know. And uh, but uh, my family were very, was very uh, instrumental and high on education, and they made us both go to college and we both have college championships. Uh, you know, my sister has a lot, probably better education in it than I do, but uh, we, uh, we began, you know, I was probably a bad dad because I followed in my dad's footsteps, and uh, you know, I made my son go to college too before he could get out and go out and do what they love to do. You know? uh, but at the end of the day, you learn in college, you meet your best friends, you'll meet the people that be there for you the rest of your life and you learn how to get along with people and so the education part of what the horse industry what the western industry does for people is amazing and uh, you know that I still believe a lot in you know you need to go to, you need to go to school and you know it, it's uh, you learn how to get along with people and so my, my family was big on that so that's how we do it. That's neat. So this show's been going for 80 years here. How have you seen it evolve through the years and, and keep going so that it was able to continue for the 80 years we've had it? Well, you know, you, you, uh, you, you look at 80 years, and uh, like I said, there's only 80, 80 champions each year. And uh, that's not a very big number as far as everybody that thinks they're champions. You come here, and you, if you're one of them 80, you're a special person, and you want a special event. And, you know, I guess what I look forward to is watching Denver, the National Western Stock Show, grow to 100. And, you know, what what is going to be the difference? You know, there's not a lot of difference in the Western way of life. We all get up, put our pants on one leg at a time, put our boots on, and we go to work. And that's the Western way of life. Denver will continue to be in that process. I believe, and I, I, you know, I'm not looking forward to any change. I'm looking forward to, to keep getting better like the boss. And what do we need to do to get to 100 years? Keep doing what you're doing. You know, Denver's. You know, of course, every everybody took a hit a couple, three years ago, and I get it. You know, that was nobody's fault. Nobody wanted to hit. Nobody wanted to do anything. And uh, I mean, it, it, it was what what was brought to us but uh, you know they've rebounded they've got the cattle show back doing good the horse shows coming back and doing good you know I think a little bit of it is people got in a habit of not doing some things but once they figured out that that's what they wanted to do after missing it a year you're going to see everybody come back and make uh, I mean the National West was better this year than it was last and you know as long as you're walking up them stairs Everything's a bright future. Well said. Well, it was an honor to have you here at the show, and it is every year, and we really appreciate your support. Anything else you want to say about celebrating 80 years here? Well, I just, you know.
know, thank you guys behind the scenes that make this happen for us. You know, I'm not behind the scenes, and but without them, we, there won't be an 81. And uh, so the people behind the scenes deserve a big thank you, and uh, the National Western Committee that puts this together. Thank you guys, and look forward to seeing you next year. Well, and we appreciate you guys being here. We couldn't share our Western Way of Life and, and Ag and Education with public without our exhibitors. So thanks for helping us share it with the public. Thank you.